supposed to give us the countdown. Ten. Not no no. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> You're live. <lying>. Go. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Board of Selectmen. Today is uh, December nineteenth, if I remember correctly, twenty sixteen. Let's call the order at uh, six forty. Uh, first up is we have an appointment with George Emery, the highway superintendent. Uh, George is going to make a recommendation on highway truck labor position, winter road closings, and remain, reminder in the snow and ice removal policy. George? And we have two candidates for uh, the position to be filled. And for experience wise, I think Shane Scott would probably be the one I'd choose. Okay. But I'm going to leave it ultimately up to you guys to look at them and, and decide. Okay. Um, Scott, Dave, thoughts? Sherry? I sat in on the interviews with George, and um, there were four that we interviewed and, and two that really stood out, and they were um, Shane and John Santos. Okay. I really the Shane looks like he has a lot of experience. Um, working up where he's working now uh, full time, right? Yeah. He's a field field boss up there. That looks pretty good to me. Yep. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, that's why I looked at the resumes too tonight, so that would be great. Top Scotty? Well, there's a couple of, uh, Mr. Chair, if I could. Uh, Shane brings, as you said, uh, a couple of decades in the, in the field. And you look at uh, Mr. Santos, and he also brings a degree in some uh, construction uh, managing, building and services. And when we've talked actively about uh, this notion that we might be able to morph uh, some of the highway off-duty into uh, some back into supporting the buildings, and I want to ensure that we're not discounting that actual yeah. uh, skill set. In the future, I was thinking about trying to get a fourth guy to... Mm -hmm help with a couple of days on yep. the highway and a couple of days in the buildings and stuff. Yep. Me and Sherry talked about that yep. Makes in, in, the, in the past um, about maybe possibly getting that fourth guy on. It's a great point, George. And remember, if, for people who don't necessarily remember, it wasn't half a dozen years ago we had someone buildings, had uh, full-time hours, then a reduction, then a retirement. But what happens, of course, in the municipal setting is those buildings still need some measure of approach. And well, even here, Scott, like, you know, like blowing down the, the air tanks. Absolutely and, right. And blowing down <clears throat> the, uh, yep. the, uh, the sight glasses on the boilers. Yep. And, I mean, there, there's, there's maintenance that needs to be done. We just, right. we just, we get by now by volunteers right. and whatever, so. Okay. So I just wanted to have that point out there for discussion. With that, with that said, you know, I'd be happy to take the recommendation, reach right. out to uh, Shane Stout, and see if he's interested in uh, yeah. accepting the position. I try to entertain a motion for Shane Stout as a new employee as the uh, the uh, labor driver position. Thomas on uh, Motion. Second. Get a motion made. And second. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. George, uh, winter road closings? Basically, it'd be the same roads that we have done in the past. Uh, nothing's changed in those. Uh, you want to read the list? Uh, yeah. The Hubbard Hill Road from house number two easterly to the left line. Gun Cross Road from Route 47 westerly to Hall Road. Whitmore Cross Road from 47 Westerly to Falls Road. Reservation Road from House Number 40, Easterly to Route 63. Cemetery Road from m and Seagal's driveway to <coughs> Riverside Cemetery. Little Mountain Road from House Number 10 to Mount Toby. Reservoir Road from the Reservoir Easterly to Mount Toby. Clark Mountain Road from House Number 42, Easterly to Mount Toby. Gun Mountain Road from House Number 23, Easterly to North Mountain Road. Gun Cross Mountain Road from House Number 28, Northerly to Middle Mountain Road. Ferry Road, Westerly to the Connecticut River. Ferry Road at Williams Property from Route 47, Westerly to the Connecticut River. North Mountain Road from the intersection of Claybrook Road, Northerly to Mount Toby. Uh, Mount Toby Tower Road from Reservation Road to the Fire Tower. 
Reservoir Road from the reservoir easterly to point of determination. Okay. Motion. Uh, motion. Second. Uh, second to accept the highway superintendent's annual uh, seasonal road closures, road, excuse me, portions of the road not being maintained in the winter. Okay, a motion made and seconded as presented. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, um, George, you just want to review the uh, snow and ice policy? I do not have it in front of me, but. We had received a. Complaint regarding mailboxes, so just a reminder. Um, just just to, to go over, um, we do have we, in, in the town, uh, we set up, set up uh, a number of years ago a policy as it addresses snow and ice. And, and, and the first thing is um, if someone mailbox gets knocked over um, the, the, the first thing I'd like to say is that the highway department doesn't aim for your mailbox um, if it did um, mine gets knocked over <laughs> you're, you're every storm. Spot. there may be some validity <laughs> to that um, but just just to let you know we, we do have a policy and if the snow if the snow comes off and and the snow knocks the mailbox over um, the town's not responsible for the replacement of the the box if um, the plow actually hits the mailbox and or the post um, we will come back and work with you to get get that back operational you know put your, the mailbox back so and, and again I just hope I, I hope somehow to express our thought that we're not purposely out there trying to knock over mis can mistakes happen absolutely um, calling either the selectman's office and or the highway and, and yelling and screaming typically doesn't we, we know you're upset we're, we're <coughs> we understand that um, yelling yelling screaming and use of not good language probably is not helping the, the problem go away um, but if we did if the town truck ran over your mailbox we'll get it fixed but like I tell you, we can kind of tell how it broke. Um, and, if it, and if our truck did plow it over, we will make good on it. Um, if it's a snow coming off from the chute or the plow, uh, unfortunately, we won't do that. So um, the um, the highway uh, superintendent. Um, usually will um, direct when the people are needed based on imminent snow arrival the police department will notify the highway department of hazardous road conditions the police department is primarily responsible for notifying the highway superintendent and that typically they'll let the shelburne control know and shelburne control will call the people then george calls out um, the fire ambulance service also can request the highway department in order to respond to public safety emergencies uh, Everyone should re recognize that public safety emergency calls are given our top priority. The highway department received requests for concern from residents and acts on them during the normal working hours. So if, if you have a problem on a Friday evening with your mailbox or how the snow was plowed, um, you're probably not going to hear anybody back until Monday or Tuesday. We've had the, the, in, in, an instance in the past where it was a second shift on a weekend needed to get somewhere. Like, okay, but not working hours. Correct. Right. Someone look at that. You always have, you, you can always um, feel free to call Scott, myself, or mm -hmm. David. Mm -hmm. uh, you can always stop at the, our houses or call us on the phones or email us, whatever you want. Yep. Um, and, we, and we will take it and we'll, we will work with you and, and try to do the best we can. Um, but again, 
as a selectman, I think the the thing that we get the most concerns about are mailboxes. That 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 seems to be our number one. I don't. I, I think no matter what town you go to, yeah. it, and that and Sherry's been the town administrator for a number of years, mm -hmm. and, and that's mailboxes it's seem to be a, a big concern. It's not just in Southern, but but in a lot of towns. Um, so I, I would say if you have any questions, we do have um, our policies. I also would say that please understand the main roads are taken care of first. Right. right. Um, That's we, probably the second biggest fire. question is why isn't my road plowed right away? So, we do the main roads first, right. and we'll do the secondaries, cul-de-sacs, um, back roads, and then uh, we do all the parking lots, municipal, school, their school, we try to do that first. Yeah. I'll try to get that in between. And then we'll attack all the sidewalks. In, in, our, in our policy during the storm, plowing operations begin with a minimum of two to three inches of snow have arrived, accumulated on the ground, and more is predicted. The main roads are plowed by larger trucks on predetermined routes, while the residential roads and cul de sacs are plowed on a predetermined route by smaller trucks. Public safety complex emergency vehicle bays are plowed <coughs> are plowed when the plows leave the highway garage and at the start of the plowing operations and at regular four inch intervals. During the storm, highway department and personnel work around the clock if necessary to keep the roads open and passable. Once the snowfall has stopped and roads are cleared of snow, post storm sanding and salting commences if necessary based on weather condition. Plows push back to amass snow at corners and intersections to provide safer visibility. If deemed necessary, plows will push snow banks further back along roadways during the working hours as manpower and equipment are made available. Once all public roads are clear, the schools and municipal lots, and finally sidewalks are cleared of snow and sanded during the working hours. So if you have any questions about this, um, feel free to contact the, the selectman's office and talk to George. We can email you the, the policy uh, if you have concerns about the policy and or you want the policy change, please let us know and we'll work with you on that as well. We should stick that up on the website maybe too. It might save sure. some save some people, you know, then they just look at it up there too. Save some calls. I don't know if it is or not. I'll but check. Yeah, and if it's not, just pop it up there. Any thoughts, Scotty? No, I think the uh, snow policy has been in place for a number of years, and um, we run uh, seasonally into this um, winter fervor. And it's not just snow and ice and plowing. There's a lot of thought that was given to that over the course of years and over the course of different <coughs> highway superintendents and with input from the public, <coughs> including the school, including the library, public and municipal buildings. However, it's still winter, and the first time it comes up, people get animated. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and again, um, you know, I know you may just get out and plow your or driveway or shovel your driveway, snow drill your driveway, driveway, and then it seems just when you always finish, the plow truck comes by and, and, <laughs> oh, gets, the end of the and yeah. gets the end of the driveway. Yep. Or when we do the sidewalk, people kind of Yeah. Well, there was, if I could, Mr. Chair, extend the conversation a little bit. There was question about type of plow, speed of plowing, how much, you know, curl and distance we actually push off and the methodology. And I'm, I'm sure George and the crew are aware that's an area of concern of the residents and the board and how, how that approach is taken. You know, it's not, it's not hundreds of miles in the course of minutes. It's a matter of doing the most efficient job in the most delicate manner, knowing that moving a ton of snow is not an easy task. It takes about four hours right. to go around the town once. Right. Uh, and, and the town generally um, is in good shape. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee, I can, um, guarantee there's things that we can do as residents to help things go um, you know limiting if you don't need to be on the road it's probably good not to be on the road um, the highway the highway department's not going to be out um, purposely getting your driveway after you get it plowed or, or shoveled uh, the ends of it um, and I, I don't know what else to say I mean yeah. we, we, we talk about it We've been doing this for a number of years, and, and um, 
unfortunately this happens. I would like to remind folks though that they probably shouldn't be putting their snow out into the road. We have a bylaws against Correct. that. That's what I was going to say because I've seen um, that happen in the last storm and yeah. people blowing, blowing it out into the road. Right. Yeah. So, so we should probably, you know, you should probably be aware that that's if, if you put it out in the road, it's just going to get pushed into your neighbor's lawn. So, or back into the end of your driveway, or back into your driveway. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, and also yeah. keep your storm drains clear too. I try to make a note to do that because especially if we get one of those storms where we get a lot of snow, then it changes over to rain, and then that'll just that'll just encourage flooding if you don't try to keep those clear. So if you can, it's always a good thing too. Yeah. So, anyway, all right, all set. Anything else, Scott? There's a question here about the recommendation for uh, petition to personnel committee about a change in the job description for highway. We're going to see that in the future. I yes, see. I see at the oh, reschedule. Or, at the reschedule. Okay. Yeah. I see. I see. The rec I see the discussion about a new wage scale, and even though there's appropriate funds in the current year. It's important to bear in mind annualizing that is going to be a very different discussion and on the right. big spreadsheet that can show up and it will definitely generate questions so it's important that it, although it's supported in the in the current year that there's thought given to it moving forward right because it'll okay. affect the budget okay all right George thank you thanks thank so much you also George. Thanks. Uh, minutes of uh, 11 28 Uh, motion. Test. That's what we can public records. Uh, second the motion. Yeah, motion made and seconded for, to accept the minutes of 28. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Minutes from December 12th. Sherry can't vote. No. no. <laughs> I watched you on video, though. Oh, <laughs> how do we do? We did great. All right, good. You always do. Uh, motion on those, too. Um, I'll second the motion for discussion. I just want to ensure that mm -hmm. our, our total our total refund for the sewer connection was for the existing property on 84 Old Amherst Road, not the total application. Yep, one, one connection one. fee for 84 Old Amherst Road? Is that correct? Yep. Okay. 86 is a new, even though it's a hybrid connection. Yeah, good point. So it says, therefore, we are requesting that one connection fee for 84 yep. be returned. Okay, yep. great. Thanks so much. All right, motion made and seconded. All, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, December 12th, all set. Next up is the uh, Board of Selectment updates. Mr. Pierce, you have any? I don't have any. Okay, uh, no updates, Mr. Chair. Uh, we have a board of uh, ambulance tomorrow night and a senior center tomorrow night. So, oh, nice. Double right booking. Holiday Double party at the senior center? Yeah. Huh? Holiday party at the senior center? There was last yeah. week, I think nice. there was. All right. Town administrator updates. Uh, just a couple. The weatherization projects at the town office building in the public safety complex are complete. And I'm just working on the annual report for the Green Communities Program. Uh, Joe Markanian sent an email today. He's finishing up the draft for the capital plan. Oh, good. Um, he has a meeting with the school, and he's looking for the debt schedule from the treasurer's office, and then that'll be ready for consideration i can ask sure is there going to be a meeting with joe and the capital improvement committee yeah, as soon as like he finishes that first draft great uh, thanks so much and uh, the complete streets prioritization plan is almost um, complete as well we have a meeting scheduled for january 3rd yeah. very good all right rao appointments all right so is, is this the list that's in front of us? I and mean, the recommendation is the highlighted, the highlighted yeah. one. So okay. have, have we have we actually talked to these? Have we sent notices to these committees and boards mm -hmm. that this is happening? Great point. No, not yet. Can we do that before we vote on this? Sure. 
Okay. Only, only they may have someone say, but, ah. um, if we could just, um, for tonight, so that we have something in place for January 1st, if you would appoint Wendy and I oh, as I super so RAOs, yeah, okay. so that we're in compliance on January Good 1st, point. Point, I'll right. take care I, of it. I would just like to send this to, I, I would just like some contact with these people, let them know what's happened. Okay. Right. Okay. All right, so at this time, I'll entertain a motion for Sherry Patch and Wendy Fool to be super RAOs. Only if they get a tape. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to approve it. That's going to be the best <laughs> titled appointment you'll That's ever super have. Super RAO. Super RAO. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, motion. I'll second. <laughs> so a super RAO, is a, it's a record, basically, someone's looking to the minutes of right. a meeting to contact these people. And then we'll... Don't coordinate and right yeah. getting that back. All right. Aye. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All right. We have two super REOs in the town of Sunland right now. Yes, so. we do. <laughs> Next up is North Plain Road speed limit. Um, David, you want to read the letter from Chief? Yes. All right. Eric. This is dated twelve ten from Chief Eric Dimitropoulos. Sherry, please allow this email to serve as my recommendation to the board regarding the speed limit concern of North Plain, excuse me, Plain Road. After initially speaking with you and also receiving two different complaints regarding the speed limit, I reviewed North Plain Road. There are a couple of sections of the road that conform with the thickly settled section within Mass General Laws. It would be my recommendation that the board reduce the speed limit of that road as allowed by Mass Law and post the new speed accordingly. Thank you. What's the policy? Is it our responsibility to set those? You you can. Mm -hmm. Really? We've had we've had discussions in the past, and we've had interactions on state roads where there's been a review. In this yeah. case, here at Town Road, it's a recommendation of the highway. Excuse me, highway super police uh, <coughs> chief, and then posted by the board. The question is, I don't see in here any recommendation of actual value. And that, to me, would be helpful. You know, it says we can reduce the value by uh, mass yeah. general law, uh, but it doesn't tell us what the target speed actually is. I think it's 35 currently, and the recommendation. So we need 30. Was, was 30. looking for 30. Yeah. Where does he say it in here? I, yeah, that was, that was question four on your driver's test. Oh, okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. well, that yep. was a long time ago. <laughs> I, 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 I thought it was 35 until the chief wrote there in you there. Go. Well, then, if that's the case, then I can certainly take the chief's recommendation and recommend the sections of North Plain be reduced to the speed of 30 miles per hour. All right, so we have a motion to 30 miles an hour on North Plain Road. It, it might tell, help me. Yeah. Shouldn't we have, like, a posting and have, a, like, a public hearing? That's how, that's how the state does it. Huh? When we've done state roads, that's how it's been but why, done. But why wouldn't we? Well, I think it would make sense. It would be much more inclusive. We could get people I, in. May, no one may show up. Right. That's right. And, but at least you've done the due diligence. Due diligence. Sure. So, so and, Sherry, can, can we... And, and I agree totally with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but could we have a public hearing for our next our next Board of Selectmen's meeting in... Uh, and, and and again, I just think um, put it at the top of the agenda, anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And again, we may not get anybody. Um, we may get a flood of people saying thirty-five is not enough; it needs to be forty-five. Sure. I, I don't know. Right. But okay, thank you. So I'll withdraw the motion. Thank you. Um, authorization to allow the chair to sign lease finance documents. Oh yeah. Moved. All righty. We have a Second. motion. All those in favor, say by saying aye. 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 All righty. Um, Sherry, what's this? Now, the next one I don't quite understand from the school. <laughs> they, how are they? They're asking us. Are, can we do what they're asking us to do? We we can. I did mm. um, meet with the accountant last week and Patty to discuss how to handle that request. And um, if the board's in agreement. Can place an article on the annual town meeting warrant to pay right. unpaid bills from a prior year. Oh, right. But the so there's a couple of things, Mr. Chair. The, the the first is, of course, 
if, if you look at the correspondence that came from the business uh, manager at the district, uh, there was clearly work that was completed in 2015, but not invoiced until 2016. 16. So that's that's item number one. Um, I frankly place I place I think the root cause is likely there, and also in reading the correspondence uh, on the letterhead from the district, although not signed. If you follow the second paragraph, the root cause is contractor finished work in 15 did not invoice until 16 and then our accounting service from the cog not the town accountant although he's appointed that way uh did what accountants do and they and well, simply close the books so the, fun, the funds were never encumbered so there's another piece in this correspondence to me that sounds um unduly harsh and i take i take some measure of exception to it to say that the town is being unfair to vendors, um, we're very sensitive to that. And as a vendor, I know that pain, not for the town, but for other places. I would also suggest that uh, simply having the closing paragraph of your, of your correspondence saying, we need a resolution to the situation, doesn't ask for any help, help or encourage any involvement. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit standoffish. That said, we're looking for 5,100 and change to be able to pay an invoice for something that was a year in the rears and overlapped. Okay, well that's not exactly asking for help. So we can actually post it for an upcoming town meeting that allows for the district to use funds, although um, committed, not, not available yet. That's a loophole they've got to work with and they can work with that. I would suggest that we take this action as requested and then ask for uh, the district to be a little more forthcoming in how quickly we get those encumbered funds reports. Somehow in here, there's a mechanical piece that, that fell off, mm -hmm. right? I we get did it. talk about um, ways to improve communication. Yeah. yeah. But you know, if some if someone was to simply read this and be like, "You dirty rats," I'm like, right. "No, I don't read it that way. I read it as something that was a year in the rears." He or, assumed that the encumbrance just right. carried over the exactly year. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly yeah. right. And there's a fair amount of italics, and I get it. And frankly, I really like the value that the business manager brings to the district. I truly do. This is just unpaid bills, mm -hmm. so we can work together on this. However. If it's another year and then something else happens, then you did, we didn't address the problem. Right. We pushed the accountant to get things done, to close books, to be within 35 or 40 days. We pushed to get these done. We have the audit come in right after the books are closed so that our books are very, very clean. Well, maybe we're a little too efficient. No, we're not. I understand we're not. We're, we're bound the, to do the, those at, things. At the end of the year, Yep. at the end of the fiscal year, what do we do? We get we give two or three weeks for all the, the or or a month for all the le the leftover bills to 15th. get accumulated. Yep. That's right. So that we can pay them. Yep. And then after then after that we have to close our books because we're because we can't set tax rates. We can't send out tax bills. We Correct. can't pay money for salaries unless we're able to to generate tax revenue. Exactly right. Well, so we have there's a process for us to follow. Right. I I, I guess I would t I, I I guess. And again, I'm not. They're going to ask for fifty one hundred dollars, fifty one hundred seventy eight dollars and fifty one cent. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to take that out of free cash. We'll have to take it out of right. some available funds that available are certified. Funds. Exactly right. right. So, mm -hmm. so or mm -hmm. or they can pay the bill. Correct. I wrote the words E and D right there. Well, we just managed to use we just managed to use E and D to make a move. That's what I was kind of wondering is why that wasn't just looked saying. at first. But anyway, well, it's, okay. well, it's the A was not Frontier. It's it's Sunland Elementary, Sunland Elementary, right? Or Sunland just... Elementary has it as well. For siding or something? Huh? For siding or mm -hmm. something? It's for it's for front. It's for Sunland Elementary, so they they don't. Uh, yeah. You can't. You they don't. Sunland sure. Elementary sure. doesn't. So have we were quick on the draw of that. You're right. So I, I actually would draw that. But that being said, but I mean. Although it goes back to uh, I mean to the root cause of the vendor, you know. I think you'd want to invoice as quickly as possible. 
I think what it, what it really does is it highlights the fact that there's an efficiency in the process that can be managed. Mm -hmm. And we'll get after that. Yep. I, I, I would say we are limited in our uh, we are limited in our abilities to pay past invoices. Absolutely. And and Special what needs to happen yeah. what needs to happen is they say, look, we didn't have this in on time. Can you please put it on the next mm -hmm. next warrant? For town and or special town meeting yeah we can do that right right it's, it's a pretty simple thing it happens right we just can't create we just can't create a special town we just can't say go ahead and pay the bill without right. having a special town, town meeting, meeting first do you understand that mm -hmm. the white and nasty whatever yep. so the motion here the request is actually to allow this to be incorporated into a future town meeting that's the that's the actual function of the request so can this be incorporated in a warrant article effectively is the request sure it, i suppose it could we could actually vote tonight to include this in a warrant article <coughs> we don't have to have we know we have stabilization money that can cover it so we could actually vote to include it Although we haven't opened a warrant. No. See, I don't think that's what they're the asking. The town accountant is requesting that it be that the board vote it that way. What the board what way? That the that the board would entertain the article on the on, a, on the next town meeting warrant. That's not what she wrote here though. I'm looking at this 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 email or this mm -hmm. con con communication. Mm -hmm. This one here, yeah. No. This one. This the same one? Yeah. Uh, we processed. I don't have the follow-up one. Hang on, just a second. Hang no. on. There it is. There it is. All right, let's go through. Yep. As a follow-up to our meeting, we need fifty-one hundred dollars to finish paying uh, FY sixteen encumbrance. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't encumbered. Right. Right. Not it encumbered. went back and. Oh, all right. Okay. No, okay. So the first line is incorrect. It's not. If it was encumbered, not at it, the town level, then there's not a problem. It'd be paid right away. Right. It was right. never encumbered. Is that correct? Right. Right. So that's factually incorrect. It wasn't first carried over. Yeah. She assumed right. that it was automatically carried over. Mm -hmm. Well, assuming once she encumbered <laughs> it the once. Yeah. <laughs> it, assuming usually is not a good thing. All right. So that's first. So it's not encumbered. So that's a factually incorrect statement. First one, yep. Next says, oddly enough, once again, we have an encumbrance to vendor to do some door work for us this past summer. It wasn't encumbered. So again, factually incorrect. Right, right. And he's expecting a and past summer, blah, 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 and the project is not completed. The project is not completed. Mm -hmm. Bob will get someone to finish the work after Christmas. Okay, so you can't pay for a task huh? that you can't pay for a task that's uh, incomplete. That's incomplete, uh, right? That's, that's you end up in jail, right? Right. <laughs> Not that I know that, but right. I know that. Right. Right. Just a thought: since the bulk of the fifty-one seventy-eight is the doors, can we go ahead and pay the yes computer invoice, the Home Depot invoice, with FY seventeen money, so we can get off the credit hold? Brian told her no. Don't see how that happens, you know. It can't happen. It, it's this isn't as I said to Sherry earlier. Right. This isn't necessarily departmental. Anyway, do, do you know what I'm trying to I say? I completely get it. So I don't see anywhere in this email, unless I missed an email. Can't take any where action. Where they're asking to put it on the next warrant. Mm -hmm. That was actually no, the that very, was the prior. The very first that one. was yeah. Yeah, There's this one here, Mr. Chair. And it, has, another one? and it has the correspondence from okay. behind it. So we want to encumber. I mean, we, we want to put it on the next warrant. The question we'll hear is about on the town side of the books and how can we actually get this paid? And the reality is it ends up as a warrant article. Okay. Fine. So do we need to make a motion to put this on? Yes. You want to make a motion? Can we do it without it being open or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can put, yeah. Just I mean, the intent, Sarah. I'll right. put it in the file, in right. the town meeting file, so we. All right. So I don't think we have to make up. a motion then. I would important to move the, move to in, include this on a future warrant article. On our next 
Right. Special and or annual town meeting right. warrant. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. may I have a motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 There you go. And again, <coughs> Chair, Chair, I would ask if I could, Mr. Chair, I would ask that we have continued follow-up because the, the correspondence on the letterhead was um, rugged. <laughs> We did sit down and talk about ways to Great. improve our communications, clarify our memos a little bit better so that everybody's yeah. understanding and perhaps a separate memo, memo just um, making everybody aware that they need to contact their vendors and let them know that we're closing the book. Sure. So if there's outstanding invoices, submit them. I mean, we've, we've had legal fees 18 months in yeah. arrears just because of the way that they landed. It's like, sorry. The lawyers get it, but yep. you know. Anyway. Okay. We already did a holiday, holiday calendar. We did that last, last time. month. Uh, the town office buildings will be closed on December twenty sixth, which is Monday. That is actually when the holiday is observed. Uh, town office buildings will be closed on January second. Again, that's when the uh, Town office building is closed for the official New Year's observance. Our next one meeting will be January 9th. It's a long and, stretch. And that meeting will include, we'll have to send notice out uh, public. You want to have hearing? Yeah. Mr. Chair? Hearing or comment? Because sure. hearing it needs to be hearing, right? Hearing well, needs hearing, advertising. I mean, and yes. Yeah. It, it's our advertising. I mean, okay. Yeah. Do you okay. want it advertised in the newspaper or just posted? No, okay. Okay. So hearing on the speed limits for North Plain Road. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I would post a hearing at the places that we post a warrant for the town meetings. You know. Yep. Okay. Anything else? It's like to. Uh, <coughs> this time it was just to uh, wish everybody a happy holiday, and more importantly, a safe holiday period of time. Uh, the. Uh, Almost start of winter. Days are light is very short. Two more days um, till the solstice. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> roads are slippery. Um, just drive carefully. Watch for our students that are on the buses right this time of year. Um, a little more excitement in the family, so they may be running across the streets and such. <laughs> so, uh, and again, I just hope everyone uh, is safe throughout the holiday period and is. Will be able to join us on January 9th for a new exciting meeting that will take place. Perfect. Motions? Uh, motion for everybody to have a great holiday and for us to adjourn. Second. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. We shall be out at 717. Thank you. Thanks, FCAT.